Has anybody here played uh, uh, 30 Flights of Loving and Gravity Bone? Uh, gravity bones pretty well, so I have 30 ah, fuck this So I have 30 flights of loving I'm curious if anybody would want to Would want to see me play through both Okay, I didn't uh, have a fuck. Fuck. This game is like not, nothing like Sonic the Hedgehog, man. It's like... It's like Sonic the Hedgehog meets Dark Souls more like it. Actually, it's... Oh, fuck. This is bullshit. It's another fucking water level? What 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 is this with this shit on the bottom? I don't even understand how these levels work. Am I just getting fucking unlucky? What the shit fuck? Yeah, it's like a rug, rug, uh, a roguelike. It's like buying. If it, is anybody here familiar with Binding of Isaac? It's kind of like that, but instead of, uh, you know, as Binding of Isaac, Binding of Isaac is to Zelda, a super hardcore one life chance Zelda. That's different every time. This is like, this is like the equivalent of that meets like, you know, like Castlevania or something. Fuck. Okay, fuck me in the goat ass. So here's what I'm trying to do. Besides not die. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck. 
Alright, so there's, there's, I don't know how many worlds there are in this game, but there's four levels in each world. This is the second world. Now, the thing is, all you, every time you die, you have no saved progress. Like, if you die, you start the whole game over again. The reason I'm starting from world two is because at the end of the fourth stage of each world, there's this dude called Tunnel Man, and he asks for shit. He's like, give me two bombs. And then you go on to the next world. Um, but then you die. So then when you get back to him again at the end of the first, the fourth stage, he asks for something again. And then you, if you give him that, you know, you go on. And then, you know, you get to the point where he's like, can I have this? And if you give him that, he creates a shortcut for you, which lets you start from uh, that, the next world uh, at the beginning of the game, which is why I'm starting from world two each time. So, I've, while I've gotten to the Tunnel Man, uh, uh, at the end of the jungle, this, the, at the end of 2-4, I didn't have what he needed. So I basically made no permanent progress in the jungle area. What was that? Oh, it's a scorpion. Now, it's randomized every time you play it, and it, it's, yeah, I'm good. And, yeah. It's randomized every time you play it. And it's very hard. You see, I have four health. That's that's pretty much all four health I have. And there's certain traps like like these totem things. They spit out spikes. Those are instant death. You know, so I could be having a perfect run. Like Binding of Isaac, I've acquired all these awesome items and stuff. I hit one of those traps. It's all over. Um, there's a lot of secrets and stuff. See, I just lost the health from falling there. But here's the door. Oh. Let's just go in. So now I'm at 2-2. Like I said, if I get to 2-4 and I beat it, um, I get to give something to the Tunnel Man if I have it. But he usually asks for bombs or ropes or money. Stuff that's very precious and that helps you get through the world. Now, like I said, there's all kinds of secrets and shit. Like these places where you could sacrifice shit. Asshole, a bat. Oh, this is not good. And like in Castlevania, bats fucking suck! And so do spikes. Instant death on spikes. It's different every time I play. I gotta start from 2 1 every time. The dead are restless. All right, now, I, fuck. Now, any any time you see a, a tombstone that says Ash on it, if you blow it up, you get a boomstick. But see, I had to use a bomb to do it, which is very precious. But since I have extra bombs, why not? Uh, so that's two one. Again, I have a lot of bombs. I have a shotgun, but it can all go away super quick. Now. If I, if I take this idol to the end of the stage that I'm on, I get a lot of money, but I'd have to drop my shotgun, which I don't really want to do right now. I maybe should take that boomerang, but I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to get it. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. He spawns an item? These are good. They make me jump higher. See, yeah, I'm doing a really good run, but the, one of the one of the hard parts about this game is shit gets real bad real fast. Like you can get hit by an enemy, which knocks you into a trap, which knocks you into another trap, and then boom, instant death. Which might happen here pretty soon. See, this is annoying. I'm gonna try to go around this back way. Oh, Jesus fuck. Also, each stage is timed. 
So if you spend more than like three and a half minutes, a ghost comes out who, who uh, will go through uh, I I everything in the stage, and if he touches you, instant death. <laughs> I just fucking landed in spikes! Instant death! So, you know, I was doing alright! Didn't see the spikes. Start over. I like these dead or, dead or restless stages because you're more likely to get a boomstick. I think that's what only. Fucking bitch. Like here. So, fuck an a hole. Oh fuck! Oh fuck my asshole! All right. Uh. This is a kissing booth. You can buy kisses, they give you back permanent health. And I got killed by the spikes. Always good to get money because there are shops and stuff that sell really useful items, much like in Binding of Isaac. I like that shop right there, but I have no money. Fucking saw every skeleton is a goddamn. God, I have the uh, jump boots. Ooh, boomerang. Boomerang, super useful. Those things will eat you and kill you in one hit. I also heard if you die a thousand times in this game, you die in real life. So be careful out there. All right, now they're survivors. They're always good to uh, to try to get a survivor to the exit because they'll give you a kiss, which means you get a health back. Oh, fuck you! Son of a bitch. See? He kissed me. A dude kissed me. I'm cool with that. I'm no judge. See, I, I hate this. What is this shit? I'm getting so fucking unlucky. See, I'm supposed to know what I'm supposed to do when there's water like this? Oh, never mind. There's the exit. Hmm. All right. Those frogs explode when you kill them.
Well, that was incredibly lucky. All right, so here's Tunnel Man. If he wants something I don't got, tough titty said the kitty. He wants two bombs. I have them. Good. So that, that progress will save. Now, it's not enough for him to dig the shortcut to the next world, but it will remember that no matter how much I die. I think he asked for things three times. Um, and I think the last time is money, lots of money. So I actually made progress here tonight. It's easy to play this game for hours and make no progress. But this world fucking sucks! Because it's really... The ice sucks, and the, all the floors are bottomless from what I can tell. kinds of new fuck, fucked up enemies. Oh, fuck it, what was that? What is that? Ah! Fucking kill that motherfucker. Furthest I've been, I think. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh. Fuck you, dog. I ain't got time for your shit. Oh my god. Okay. See, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. See, I don't know what to do about any of this. Oh my god, okay. Woo! Someone needs to tell J52 he needs to learn how to cut out Spelunky clips. Because nobody on YouTube, like, really understands the setup for this game. There's no context. I think if, if they're going to clip out any Spelunky, it should be entire runs. And usually one, runs that are, you know, of a decent length. Like, not, don't just show, like, 30 seconds up to my death, death, show the whole run, you know what I mean? Fuck you. pretty well, but I know I'm not going to have what... I have one life. If I get to the end of this, I can give... What the hell is that? Ah! 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 Okay, this is getting bullshit. Okay. Okay. Place. Okay, no, no, no. Fuck! That was a good one! That was a good run. Why does it say so close? Fuck you. And now I gotta start over from the jungle. And if I get to that tunnel man again, I give him something else. And, uh. And, uh. You know. 
One thing to never do is attack shopkeepers. Uh, and don't throw rocks on yourself either. Because he'll fucking kill you! Oh, oh, take a shotgun! No! Oh, he got a shotgun back! Never attack shopkeepers, because they go fuck it. And don't jump on spikes. Spikes are bad. They kill you. Very quick. Fucking shit! See? Shit can go real bad real quick, guys. See? And spikes, they kill you instantly, and so does the piranha, and fuck my life. Somehow, I only have one health. 